All right. This is Michael from Learn League, and now we're going to look at a few concepts around the number line. The number line is a way to put numbers in order and compare their position relative to one another. And this, of course, can be written horizontally or side to side or vertically, up and down. In both cases, you'll notice that zero is at the center and the positive numbers will be written to the right of center or to the top of center. And the negative numbers will be written to the left if it's horizontal or below if it's vertical. Now let's look at a few maybe real world applications of the number line. And, and, and by this I mean what do, what do we use the number line for? What do we use it to represent? Um, and the number line is useful for visualizing anything that happens in two opposite directions. So things like distance, temperature, altitude, money, things like that where it can go one way or it could go the other. Let's maybe look at an example from real life. So we have a number line here and what could we use this to represent? Now think of it, um, think of it like a trip from home, okay? And let's say you live in a small town and there's only one street in that town and you want to go to the grocery store and it's four miles to the east. So you start out by going four miles to the east. Then you turn around and come home. And that's zero. We're going to call zero kind of the home. That's where you live. You've gone four miles to the east. You come home and now you want to go to the bank and it's four miles to the west. So we're going to send you in the negative direction or the opposite direction to the bank. Now you notice the sign on the four is negative and all that means it was a, is, is that there was a change in direction and that's why the number line is useful because it shows us quantities in opposite directions. Now sticking with the travel away from home you can see that the distance from your home is four in both directions. You know, in this context, the negative sign, all it tells us is that we're moving in the opposite direction. So it's not necessarily a bigger or smaller trip. It's just that we went in an opposite direction. Ordinarily, the number negative four would be smaller than the number four. But in this context, we're just talking about distance from zero. And what we have in math to represent that is this idea of the absolute value. The symbol in math is just vertical lines around the number and the absolute value of a number is just its distance from zero. So in this case, the absolute value of negative four is the same as the absolute value of four and in both cases it's just the number four. It's just four. How far away from zero are we? Whether it's to the left or to the right, whether it's up or down, we want to know its absolute distance from zero. Another maybe example of this is with money. So with, with money, uh, you sometimes could have money or you could owe money, right? So let's say we're talking about $78 and I owe you $78, okay? So for me, that's negative $78 because I owe it to you. And for you, it's positive $78. But in both cases, it's still $78 that we're talking about. And this idea of absolute value tells us it's not my $78 that I owe you is not less than the $78 that you're going to get. It's just opposite directions. And it's just showing us who owns the money. So this is a related concept to the number line because it's all going back to distance from zero. And these are some of the basic concepts surrounding the number line.